I think we have enough participants. Uh, shall we begin? Uh, I would like to introduce you all to Mr. Ravi Sharma, who's closely worked with teachers and uh, helped them out with classroom management, life skills, stress management, and various other aspects of uh, you know stress-related issues that teachers face while working with students. So. I am very happy to introduce you to him because this is something that most teachers uh, do not have help around for. So I'm happy that Mr. Ravi Sharma is going to throw some light on this topic. And I hope everybody has a wonderful learning session. Over to you, Mr. Ravi Sharma. Thank you so much. Good evening, everyone. I hope you all are familiar with the term gender sensitivity. I will not take so much of time to introduce and everything. Thank you so much, Pro Rehab, for organizing this webinar for gender sensitivity, a topic which is known by everyone, but not very clear to anyone. We know how to focus on it. We know how to debate on it. We're excellent in writing essays on it, but definitely we do not know how to go about it. So let's see how we are able to find out new ways and discuss these things. I'm not going to tell anything to you, which is which you don't know. We're just going to discuss certain points. And I hope that end of the session, we come out with some uh, solutions to do something real. At least one thing real, if we are able to do today, it will be great. I believe one thing is more important than 100. Yes. So I think I'll start. May I request uh, to please allow me the screen to share? Uh, Archana? I'm on it. I'm on it. Just a minute. Yeah. <laughs> Till then, just I may like to ask you all, do you all agree with the word this gender sense is required in this day and age? It is required as a subject. And it is hardly a gender thing, it is actually a life skill. We need to apply it in our lives as life skills. So gender sensitivity is very sensitive issue and it prevails in many countries, including India. We definitely talk about India first. Then we talk about any other country. Despite all the press in art, literature, governance, 
May I request all of you to kindly yes. uh, mute your mics? Participants, please mute your audio so that everybody can hear the session without any interruptions. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you so much. <clears throat> when you're required to speak, you can unmute your voice kindly mute because you don't know what happens in your surrounding. Something can suddenly pop up and it can disturb the system. <clears throat> Thank you so much. All right then. So we have made a lot of this up. You can say progress in art, literature, awareness, science, technology. We have reached moon. We have reached Mars. We are going to reach many other planets. Aditya L1 is going to I will not say touch sun, but yeah, go near the sun, study the sun. NASA mission is already on the sun, not exactly on the sun, going near the sun, we are studying sun. So what else is left in this universe which is undiscovered? There are so many things, but yes, we are into it. But still, this gender discrimination and gender inequality fuels violence against women, men also, and it results in power imbalances. So we're going to discuss these power imbalances today. What is a power imbalance created because of this gender inequality? So for that, I'll start with a very basic question. And I'll ask you all, what is being modeled? <clears throat> you all request to do. And tell me, you can raise your hand and tell me what is being modern. Or you can just message it and tell what is being modern. Anyone? Being modern reflects by the mentality, knowledge, and behavior one has not by wearing fashionable clothes and using high-end technical gadgets. Am I right? In your view, is it right? Or being modern is something else? Please, all of you. Uh, I hope the session is not going to be like English class where the kids are sleeping most of the times. We are all One teachers. of our uh, participants says being open-minded. You can being see the chat box. Yes, of course, open-minded. That's very good. Being open-minded, that's what exactly I am meaning. It is being open-minded. That's what I want to say. Having a mentality which is open-minded, having knowledge and behavior to deal with the things, not wearing fashionable clothes, using high-end technical gadgets. What I mean is, we can still wear 18th century clothes and yet be modern. And you can be having all the technicalities in with you. You can be uh, traveling in the spaceship and yet not be modern. Modernization has taught us so many things. Before coming to this session, I was going through so many things. One of them was Nobel Prize winners. I was little shocked, not much, little shocked, yes. The Nobel Prize winners list till 2019, 866, 866 men have received Nobel Prizes. Do you even have an idea how many women have? In comparison, only 53. Anybody who's coming from Andromeda Galaxy, who's coming from Jupiter, maybe if it exists ever. They will say what? In, on Earth, men are, I'm sorry I'm saying this, just is giving an example here. Men are having brains and something called women is not having that much of brains or they have not been given, given, given so many opportunities because 53 women and 866 men have got Nobel Prizes and of course 24 organizations. Why this? Why this? First one was Mary Curie in 1903. She got it in 1911. So we can count it to 52 women. One woman got it twice. So now, next list I saw was, which was quite disturbing again, BCCI, Board of Cricket Control in India. 
object which is very close to our heart, cricket. So I try to see the Indian cricket team. Shafali Verma, an excellent batswoman. <clears throat> Sumriti Mandhana, <clears throat> Amrit Harman Preet Kaur. And I was you know, amazed. Only three girls in A list, A contract list, and rest on B, C, D contract list. Then I go to the men's team. And I don't remember the number. How many were in the A contract list? What is the meaning of A contract list? They get more money. They are on regular appointment. Go on. Are we really keen on having girls equal platform, giving girls the equal platform or not? That is what we are going to discuss. Gender sense. Uh, may I request all of you to kindly keep your mics muted, please? Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Gender sensitivity. From where shall we start? So let's do one thing. We start from home. Normally we start from the school. Skip the first five, six years. Now we start from home. When the child is born, we start from there. And I ask you a question. What we teach our boys? You've read it right. Actually, boys. How we handle our boys is the key. Yes. We don't teach anything to the boys. Nothing. We don't handle our boys properly. Just leave them alone. And there is the problem. Everything is taught to the girls. Household work. All these things, does these gender constructs are put in the mind of a two-year, three-year-old, five-year-old girl, not boys. And hence the problem starts. It comes to our brains. Gender sensitivity means modification of behavior by raising awareness of gender equality concerns among these people. It is about changing behavior, changing thoughts, and going away from the world being different from the world. To bring home my point, I will start with the video. You see the video and then we move on. Gentlemen, is the voice clear? No, uh, you you need to share uh, that particular screen because we can still see the PPT. All right, all right, all right. I can understand that. Gentlemen, kise kehte hain? You know, mard ka ek stereotype hai. Badi macho wali hype hai. Wo ghar chalaega, wo ladki ko bachaega. Wo roega nahi. वीक नहीं होगा मुझे लगा ये तो साला कुछ ठीक नहीं होगा मुझे ना हीरो ना सेवियर ना सुपरमैन बनना था जो रो सके जो गा सके किसी को बचा पाए तो बचा सके ऐसा मैन बनना था मैं हिंदी में सेंटी होता हूं पंजाबी में गाता हूं ऐसा मैन टाई बांधना मुझे नहीं आता पर खाना ठीक ठाक बनाता हूं ऐसा मैन 
तुम्हारी इंग्लिश स्लो है या फास्ट है मुझे फर्क नहीं पड़ता तुम गे हो स्ट्रेट हो तुम्हारी क्या कास्ट है मुझे फर्क नहीं पड़ता आई नो दैट दी एज हैव टोल्ड यू टू प्ले टू कूल एंड फादर्स आस्ट यू टू बी डिसिप्लिन एज इफ यू ऑलवेज इन स्कूल उन्होंने बोला जेंटलमैन बनो बट ये भी बोला कि मैन का जेंटल होना खराब है क्योंकि तुम्हें तो ऑनर बचाना है जादू वाला परफ्यूम लगाना है उसी से लड़कियां तुम पे मरेंगी पर मरेंगी क्यों उन्हें मरना नहीं चाहिए मैं जहां हूं जहां खड़ा हूं उन्हें डरना नहीं चाहिए पिंक और पिंक फ्लॉइड के बीच में वो कुछ भी पसंद कर सकता है अंधेरा ज्यादा हो तो वो भी डर सकता है क्योंकि वायलेंस उसके साथ भी हुआ है पेट्रिया की ने उसको भी गलत तरीके से छुआ है वो जल्दी बड़ा होने के बोझ के नीचे बड़ा होता है दिल उसका भी 300 ग्राम का ही होता है पर उस पर लोहे का सोशल कवर चढ़ा होता है उसे बस कार और गन के खिलौनों में मत बांधो जब वो बच्चा हो जरूरी नहीं कि ड्राइवर अच्छा हो हो सकता है कि मशीनों के काम में थोड़ा कच्चा हो पर मर्द होने की इकलौती शर्त यही है कि सच्चा हो अब जरूरी नहीं कि मेरा पैशन गिटार हो कूल हो मेरे हाथ में लड़की के लिए फूल हो हो सकता है कि मेरे पास लंबी गाड़ी हो हो सकता है कि लाइफ की एक हर एक राइड पूल हो तुम्हें पता बच्चों को मैं भी संभालता हूं थक के आती है तो जिंजर वाली चाय भी उबालता हूं लड़का और लड़की में फर्क बहुत है और एक फर्क खूबसूरत है कि मैं जानता हूं पर फर्क करने को सबसे बड़ा गुना मानता हूं शायद इसीलिए इसीलिए अपने बेटे से कहता हूं कि जरूरी नहीं उनके लिए कुर्सी खींचना है गाड़ी का दरवाजा खोलना पर जब कुछ गलत हो सबसे पहले बोलना क्योंकि सिक्स पैक से नहीं बनते हैं मर्द ना ज्यादा कमाने से बनते हैं ना चिल्लाने से ना आंसू छुपाने से बनते हैं किसी और को ठंड लगती है तो दिल उसका भी सर्द होता है कि जिसको दर्द होता है असल में वही मर्द होता है तू चाहे कारपेट पे सोए चाहे रेड कारपेट पे चले लेट मी टेल यू यू द मोस्ट पावरफुल एज लॉन्ग एज देर लिव इन जेंटलमैन There you are. I hope the message is clear. I hope you have understood that the world has changed, and everything has changed. Is the PPT visible now? Yes, sir. It is. Okay, perfect. So we need to change. To change, we need to do what? We need to lead the orchestra. yes we need to lead the orchestra and you know when you lead the orchestra what you have to do you have to turn your back to the crowd whatever is happening in the world you need to turn your back to the world and then only you can lead the orchestra i hope you have seen orchestra on the stage and if you cannot do that if you want to face the crowd do everything be coolly always nothing will change and we believe that we can change as i began with boys not girl and there is another difficult question i'm going to put here since i can't see the participants may i ask arjuna please kindly tell me how many boys have joined men have joined in sir can you please repeat how many boys have joined that's difficult to answer by 10 percentage uh, fewer than women who have joined for sure why so? yes why so because they think that gender bias is only against women they need to be educated for this aisa hoga nahi this is wrong <coughs> this is absolutely wrong <laughs> yeah now because gender is something which is for both not only one we need both sides to join to understand men need to understand more till this pan came up i will not call him amir khan he is mahavir fogat till mahavir fogat came and his four daughters 
shown like anything. He didn't realize it in the beginning, but when he realized, he made it count. Why he didn't realize it in the beginning? Because of society. Because society only taught that boys can be medals, girls can't. But when he understood, when he realized, he fought against the world. He stood against the norms. We all seen the movie. We all read about him. We understand that he was right. But we call it today in 2020, 2018, when the film came, we called him right. But did people call him right in 1990, 1995, 2000, 2005? I don't think so. But yes, you have to stand against the world. What does it mean to be a modern woman? I come back to modernity again. You can see the person of the year on time. Wonderful women, these are. They made their name themselves. They struggled through. And hence, they came out triumph in this world. Unequal world, I must say. Now we come to awareness on gender. And I'll ask you questions. Very easy questions, but difficult to answer. Try to answer them. And answer them. I think most of the things will come clear. A form of social organization in which females are dominated by males are termed as. It's termed as. You can share it on my share, uh, on my chat. And give me the answer. Matriarchy. Matriarchy, patriarchy, oligarchy. Where males dominate everything. Actually, patriarchy. Gender and sex are the same, are completely different, or they overlap. They are completely different. We'll be discussing this as we go on. Men and women dress differently because of what reasons? Biological, social, or personal reasons? First, social reasons. Otherwise, there is no reason why they have to dress differently. Social reason. Social. Society doesn't allow them to dress like men and vice versa. Most of the times, gender inequality affects men, women in poor countries, women and girls. Most of the times, it affects women and girls. Women are opposed, oppressed because historical reasons, biological reasons, male dominance. A and C. Male dominance is there in historical reasons. Because it was happening, it is happening. It will keep happening. That is the reason. There are more men than women at senior positions at a workplace because women are less competent. Who said this? Women are less qualified. Never say this. Women have to look after their families also. Yes. This is a big reason. I've seen many women who have left their appointments, who have left their Wonderful jobs because they have to live near their families. Don't have to go far away from this for this. I've seen it nearby happening. They left their promotions because in order to get promoted, they would have had to go out. They couldn't go. Because the families were there. And men could not take care of the family. Of course, men could not. Because they are more tired when they come back. They need to relax. You know what? Men have bosses. Women don't have bosses. Women, no, they don't have bosses. I am being sarcastic, please. That's what men feel. Women don't have bosses. Women don't have work. Women don't have to tax around. But it is not the reality. They work harder. And what do you do in the office? You see a woman, you give her work. Because she is the one who is not doing much. So let's give her work. And this is what happens, you know. Women don't even complain. They are not taught to complain. And they complete the work. And hence we say they are very competent. Give them more work. They are only competent when they have to take work. But when they have to get prizes, then women are not competent. That is what we are doing. All jobs can be done by women. I totally agree. Fine. Yes, of course. All work can be done by women, name a work otherwise, which is not done by women. Can anyone? Can? Please put me on the chat. If there is any job today on this earth, in India basically, which is not done by women. The place where I work treats all the employees equally. I disagree. Because yes, women are not treated equally, even today. We're talking about 2020. We've evolved. 
what we see we see this the reason is we are seeing this boys are self reliant leave them alone i'm in a residential school and i'm not talking about one residential school i'm talking about so many residential schools i've seen i haven't seen a residential school where the boys and the girls are in equal numbers if you have seen please put me on the chat where boys and girls are in equal numbers if there are 400 boys in the hostel there are 400 girls or maybe more we have around 400 boys in the hostel and 140 girls is the difference and this is the difference where in all the schools residential where the girls have to live away from home and we say girls are shy boys are athletic girls are tight like boys are competitive girls are compassionate boys are strong girls are tender boys are analytical they get to all math sums they could be engineers and girls are gullible boys are individualistic girls are gentle boys are dominant forceful ambitious assertive independent as leadership abilities aggressive defense own beliefs and girls are what gentle sympathetic cheerful sensitive to others eager to soothe hurt feelings yielding loyal understanding affectionate kindly swap girls and boys and see what girls can do girls can do all these things which the written under boys now get this boys where girls are and see what happens can they do all these things the answer is no so what we need to do we need to train them first so can you tell me now was i right or wrong and i told in the beginning the boys need to be trained yes please be interactive yes sir you were right absolutely boys need to be trained i wanted more boys here not girls in the gender sensitivity concept training you can say seminar or webinar whatever boys need to be made accountable for everything who needs to be stopped going out from home at 10 o'clock or after 10 o'clock at night boys kindly theek hai we can understand then oh god what actually is going wrong we are not been able to understand now let's discuss these points openly what are the similarities between boys and girls you need to participate as i told you i will not be speaking much you guys have to speak more yes what are the similarities between boys and girls in today's world of course and what are the differences between boys and girls please somebody put me put it on the chat uh, similarities boy uh, girls are also as educated as boys now education is similar exactly they are powerful they are having holding powerful positions but what are the differences even today they are not paid as much as they should be or as equally absolutely. as their male companions absolutely they are not paid equally why is this are they not working equally yes they they're definitely working. are they are working equally they are working more they are not paid equally yes which of these similarities differences are biological biological we don't consider theek okay? hai biological are biological it cannot be changed made by god or whatever we can't do it. anything about it but yes it are socially constructed we can talk about it yeah there is What a response the uh, in the chat box as well social restrictions uh, social restrictions, the, the restrictions can't move freely and securely, securely. yes yes yeah, securely i talk about social restrictions who has put this restrictions the onus goes back to family first mother then father then everyone else can't move freely and securely security who's going to secure them secure them freely why not who stops them it is we who stop them and it is we who make a hue and cry for for it what an irony pehle rok lo jaane mat do aur baad mein unko bolo tumhe to aata hi nahi karna what is this so such things have to be taken care isn't it a very important question next one what are some of the features associated with boys that can also be adopted by girls and what are some of the features that girls will not be able to 
not like to adopt and why i repeat what are the some of the features associated with boys that can also be adopted by girls can you name can you tell me some features their athletic nature the athletic nature exactly athletic. power strength all these things everything can easily be taken up by girls girls in fact have it they are strong they are mentally strong they are physically strong they can do more work what are the some of the features that girls will not like to adopt and why i asked this question to my colleagues first the first answer came girls cannot be abusive and i'm sorry this is a reality the girls cannot can never be uh, you can say violent yes i agree there are many other features which girls will not like to adopt and why because these things are not according to the social norms the last one what are some of the features associated with girls that can also be adopted by boys i'll tell you all the features i showed you can easily be adopted by boys they can be compassionate which they don't want to be they can be shy and the biggest you know boys can cry fast boys cry who says boys don't cry walak baat hai when dhoni loses the match boys cry fine when shahrukh khan is betrayed by ajol girls cry but boys should also cry where is the problem but of course in the hindi film what are some of the features that boys will not like to adopt and why boys will not like to be shy boys will not like to cry boys will not like to do all these things but who told them all this kinder joy lene jao what happens when you buy a kinder joy go with your son or your then the shopkeeper gives that kinder joy what color blue or pink if you have a son he will give a blue one if you have a daughter he will give pink one once i went with the son and saw and i asked him the difference kya hai he says there is no difference taste is same everything is same why is the color toy different hai oh i see then i bought pink and opened it kya nikla usme little baby doll boy mein kya nikla those uh, car was there which you had to make a toy construct a car so that's it this is what we have trained ourselves with this is what we have made this is what we have done we need to change we need to make an advertisement for baby doll with boys in and tell them these are the toys which can also be used by girls because this is important we need to teach this children this the baby doll is not designed only for girls it is designed for both that is important only then we can change this gender construct which is going around for kids now i come to a very important point what is gender and how is it different from sex and there lies the whole crux here lies the whole problem one is biological one is social sex is something which we are born with this is biological and gender is given to us by the society society is standing there it is showing us the gender anatomy physiology genes hormones are all related to our biology but roles traits behavior power this is all made by society and this is gender being a feminine being a masculine this is all gender and here comes the bias but who has made it we have made it to hame karna kya hai hame change karna hai can we change it 2020 which has been going on since ages zamana badal gaya time has changed time has very much changed imagine mahabharat 2020 imagine mahabharat 2020 i tell you boldly that draupadi will not call krishna lord krishna ki zarurat nahi padegi aaj ki mahabharat padni nahi chahiye there should not be any use of lord krishna in today's mahabharat mahabharat is acted today why because that draupadi should not tolerate tell me who draupadi should stop who first 
Yeah, please tell me. Her husbands. Her husbands, absolutely. They will not have that guts to put her at stake. That is the problem. He did it. First wrong was done by him. First wrong was done by that you push. Do you know the name? Yes, please. Person who had everything in him. Yes, was it Dharmaraya? Not sure. <laughs> yes. The eldest of the Pandavas. And somebody tell me. Maybe to Mahavara Dekhi am. Yudhishthar. Yudhishthar, absolutely. Yeah. It took time fine, for the name to come. Yudhishthar. Draupadi will not ever excuse Yudhishthar for putting her in on stake. It is not possible today. Or is it possible? The world changes there. The gender came there. Everybody was sitting quiet. Thank you. We don't talk about Ramayan here. The problems occurred there also. There were problems right in the beginning. We need to change it. One thing we all have started in 8th standard, 9th standard, 10th standard, maybe 7th standard in biology, that is Darwin's theory. And we all have learned it and got full marks in biology. It was the theory of evolution. We said, yeah, people have evolved. Yeah, giraffes have evolved. Yes, amoeba has evolved. Dogs have evolved. Horses have evolved. We have evolved in nutritating membrane and so many other things. We have evolved, you know. Have we evolved? Actually, have we evolved? Is this evolution? Galat aaj bhi galat hai. Galat aaj bahut jada galat hai. Fine. Women are still in the kitchen. Is this called evolution? Let's see this video and then we'll go ahead. Change the chair. Gender sensitivity. A patient is talking to his male nurse. All your vitals are fine for now. You will be better by next week. Thank you, doctor. I'm not your doctor. I'm the nurse. Really? I thought only women could be nurses. Why is that? Well, women are better kept takers. After all, they usually do the cooking, cleaning and caring of the family. So wouldn't it make sense for them to take care for the patients and not to treat them? That is not true. Men can be good caretakers as well. And to be good husbands and fathers, they should consistently help out around the house. But shouldn't the husband have a higher salary than his wife so that he can support his family? Therefore, shouldn't men be the doctors? That is not necessary. This job pays well and it helps me support my family financially. I also feel women are more emotional, so they bond with the patients better. Men can be equally emotional as well. It depends from person to person. Times are changing. Men can take care of the house and women can take care of the family finances. She does not have to rely on a man to take care of her anymore. The traditional roles of both genders are changing and people can now decide which role they want to play in their family. Ah, uh, I see. I am sorry for my assumptions. Ha ha ha, that is all right. Yeah, then.
Is this what we assume always? The answer is yes. So we need to change this assumption and move on. These are the general rules which we presume, which actually happen in the society. One side we have the women, one side we have the men. We associate women with heart and we associate men with totally opposite concept. And what is that totally opposite concept? That men have mind, men have brains, men have a technical brain. Women are associated with makeup, beauty, homemakers, and doing jobs, being aesthetic, having aesthetic sense, and men towards those mechanical things. These are the gender roles we need to change. We have seen women are wonderful engineers today. These are the gender roles we have been living with. Boys have trucks and girls have dolls. Change it. Boys can have dolls and the girls can have trucks. Or she knew, nay, it will be important for us to teach kids like this. If we are able to teach kids this right from their impressionable age, I think the world will change. World will not change because of us. The world will change when the children will change. Gender roles, influence of family. Can you tell me, all of you now, on the screen, can you put it on the chat? Is family important or not? Is there influence of family in gender roles? I say yes. Of course, yes. If the family teaches the girl to be outgoing, to be as good as boys, the girl will be like that. The example of Mahavir Fogarji is there. And if the family teaches boy to be a nurse, the boy will happily be a nurse and will have no problems. But families don't do this. Families do what? Families push the girl towards the household things and push the boys towards outside. On a Sunday, boy is seen playing cricket in the park and the girl is seen making aluka paratha with mother. There lies the whole problem. Why can't we do it in the opposite way? Ask the girl, go play out and let boys and father make lunch for us today. It has to change. Once this changes, things will start changing. Let's see when it changes. Now let's go for the difference between sex and gender. Sex is one with which you are born with, biological characteristics, universal, not changeable. Gender is learned. Learned. We have taught it. It is socially constructed, put in our mind. It is diverse, culturally different. Every culture has it different. Two years ago, we read it in Saudi Arabia. The women were allowed license, driving license. I was taken aback. I said, ha. Huh? Till now, the girls are not allowed license. They are not allowed to drive. My goodness. It is dynamic. It keeps changing and modifiable. It has to modify now. Actually, it is modifying. You can see girls are doing very, very well. You'll see girls in everywhere. They are doing very, very well. One question I want to tell you, which is asked by me, by my students. I'm a National Defense Academy a trainer for the kids. I'm in charge. I do all these things with boys. And girls ask me the same question, 11th and 12th. So why there is no NDA form for girls? I ask the question again on this open platform. Why there is no NDA form for girls? Where is the problem? I have only one answer. Dear girls, you cannot do NDA, but you can always do CDS. And through OTA, you can get commission in army. Thanks to the government. Thanks to army. That the girls are not going to have, now going to have Permanent commission in army. This happened just a year ago, about a year ago. That girls started having permanent commission in army before they were always joining for a short commission. Imagine this: most disciplined force of our country, army, allows girls now to have permanent commission. And not very far away is the time when girls will be winning battles for us and having the param chakra. I want to see. A girl having Paramvish Chakra, the first girl to win a Paramvish Chakra, I am even a quiz master. I want to ask this question. Like ask you, you a question. I'll name a girl, you have to tell me what she has done. I name a girl, Avni Chaturvedi. Put it on the chat what she has done. Avni Chaturvedi, please. The name is Avni Chaturvedi, what she has done. What has Abhinandan done? Yes. 
yes, there is a question mark with pilot. He is a pilot, of course. And now I ask you what Abhinandan did. Which plane did Abhinandan fly? I hope you all know who is, who was, who is Abhinandan. Yes, sir. He's the gold medal winner. First in Abhinandan, please. To win Abhinandan the is the person who was caught by Pakistan, who attacked them, who destroyed their uh, F-16 plane. With oh. a, he's an Air Force officer with his Bison MiG-21. MiG-21 Bison, which is a fighter aircraft. Avani Chaturvedi is the first solo pilot of this MiG-21 Bison aircraft. Imagine this. No one knows this. This is it. Here we are different. We need to be careful. Now, another one. I will not take the complete name because complete name with the designation, I'm so sorry, will tell what she is. Indu Malhotra. Apologies. Indu Malhotra. She's a Supreme Court judge out of the panel. She's one of the Justice Indu Malhotra. Now I take the full name. So that's what we have to understand. We need to know these women. We need to feel proud of these women. Not by having debates, writing essays, but yes, knowing them properly, knowing them well. Right? So we should know this. Till we know this, it will not be possible for us to tell the children. We have to tell children about Shefali Verma more than we tell about Virinder Sehwag. Then we tell about Shikhar Dhawan. We know Shikhar Dhawan is our opening batsman. We also know Shefali Verma is a broad string, wonderful batswoman, wonderful opener. Just 16, 17 years old. Now, defining gender. What is gender? Describing social roles and relationship between men and women in society. We have to describe the relationship. Changes over time and cultures. How it has changed. And it is referring to all the aspects of life. Economic, political and social. Assigns behavior and actions that are expected from men and women. This is cultural representation. Assigns women and men position within the family, the community and the nation. Refers to how power is used and shared. Tell me now, how is this gender? Creating gaps. Now, if you have to speak, please. It's been time since I've been speaking. Who, what, what is creating these generation, uh, gender gaps, please? May I know, please? What is creating this gender gap? Women are more progressive and men are progressive. Yes. A bit louder, please. Women are getting more opportunities for women are less yeah opportunities for women are less is that so i just spoke about nda women have less opportunities who def uh, who denies them opportunities now sabse pehle family denies them opportunities number two society design denies them opportunity even the government denies them opportunity sitting here i deny them opportunity here I was, as I was telling the hosts yesterday, I don't believe in a women reservation bill in the parliament. Do you agree? All of you, most of the women here, do you agree what I say? I don't want this 33% reservation or whatever is the percentage of reservation for women in parliament. I want them to fight with uh, them and come 100%. They should say we don't want equal or unequal things. We want to fight, contest and come victorious. Believe me, if all women come together, no one will be able to beat men. No one will be able to beat women. They'll come victorious. Why? Yes, we needed this reservation in the beginning. First 40 years, 50 years, 60 years, today also. This is making it weak. This is making the case weak. That is why what I believe, please, this is purely what I believe. I may be wrong. I may be wrong. This is what is making them taken for granted in the parliament. You have a 33% quota. That's why you are there. Am I right, all of you? But if they fight, if they contest, they beat men and come, then, of course, they will not be taken for granted. Their voice will be heard. 
I want the women voice to be heard. I want more prime ministers like Mrs. Indira Gandhi. So good. 1971 war, who can forget? She removed the eastern side. And what happened? Bangladesh was created. Has anyone in the whole history of the world done so? Any prime minister has done so? No. America has done it. That's all. No other country has done it. India has done it. Imagine that. And who had that guts to do it? Mrs. Indira Gandhi. Nirmala Sitaraman, our defense minister. Now she's our finance minister. She's doing so well. So many women have done well, but we are not ready to accept it. We talk about men. As I gave you examples of cricket team, as I gave you example of this Air Force officer, I can give you so many examples. So that's what it is. Hima Das had to struggle. Had she been a boy, she would have been in some other zone. She had to struggle. Please tell me now, all of you, what we need to change, what we need to shift to bring women to the forefront. Please, all of you. Your voice is what I need. It has to start at home, sir. The Absolutely, it has to start has from to start home. At home. Yeah. And I'll ask you questions here. Yeah? Answers are right given to you. Women give birth to babies, men do not. This is sex. This is, you know, natural. You can't change it. Girls are gentle, boys are rough. Gender. Who made this? The girls are gentle, boys are rough. You put girls into a tough situation, they will come out victorious. Come back with the example of Tangalpin. So many other examples are there. Imadas. Avani Chaturvedi. I, I will fall short of examples by the evening. Doctors are men, nurses are women. Who says this? Women are wonderful doctors. They do very, very well. Boys don't cry. But who says this? This is gender. Who says boys don't cry? Boys don't cry. The heart attack rate in boys is more. If they cry, things will be good. Boys are good at mathematics and science and girls are good at language and history. My God. The school where I teach, I have seen girls doing very, very well, topping the class. The history of our school, one of the girls stood third in the All India Engineering exam. She did excellently well. The boys have not been able to achieve it. Yes, one of the boys got, did well in NDA. Forget about it. Boys, girls are not given chance in NDA. That's why. When one thinks of an engineer, one hardly ever thinks of women. Yes. We need to think of women when we think of engineers. We need to think of men as we think of nurses. We have nurses. Women, men nurses are there. Please. Women work two-thirds of the world's working hours, produce half of the world's food, and yet earn only 10% of the women's world's income and only less than 1% of the world's property. Imagine this. This is gender. Sara Kam, women will do, and all the accolades will go to men. There was an English play by J.B. Pritchley, Women, uh, Mother's Day. Have you seen? Have you read? I hope you've all read it in school. And we are teaching the children every time. What happens there? What happens there? A woman is not given a due. And the woman goes after the family. And the family is definitely going to give the due to the mother. Voices break at puberty. Girls do not. This is natural. We can't do anything. Girls need to reach home on time. Yes. Who decides this please? Girls need to reach on home on time and leave on time. Before time, after time, not allowed. Who does this? The society has done this. We need to change this. We need to change so many things. Kindergarten teachers should be women. Men are not good at taking care of young children. Now. This is what. Can we change this at least? KG teachers have to be women. Men cannot be in the primary schools. Yes, please, all of you. Can we change this? Can men take care of uh, young children? Or they shock their duty, that's it. I can't do it. Why they can't do it? Who is going to teach them? Again, we go back to the family. And then the society. Society has to do this. COVID has taught us so many things. Yes, 
men have started working in the kitchen, men have started knowing themselves, they have different work concerns, that's it. All men are expected to work and earn money for the family. Women cannot do this. But where is the harm? If men take care of the family and the women earn money, where is the harm? They can easily do it. Women are expected to take care of the family, domestic duties remain close to home. Remaining close to home. This is a topic which I have seen quite closely in my own family. The women had to leave promotions. They have to be near the families because family could not run without women. In how many families this happens? The women cannot take jobs which are very good. They have to be near the family. Hence, they have to compromise with the jobs. The employers also see to it that these are women. They have to be nearby. So give them less salary, not a problem. And there you are. The differences which are actually biological and then we come to inequalities which are created by gender. Small, robust. But if the women are not having that power, they are mentally very, very strong. We don't analyze that. We don't analyze that. We have seen it in cricket. We have seen it in hockey. We have seen it in football. The teamwork wins. The team which is mentally strong actually wins the day. It is not physically strong. Hence, the women are mentally strong. They do it do well. They come up triumphs. Women have sharp voice. Men has deep voice. And who says this sharp voice cannot be submissive? Authoritative. Women can have authoritative voice. Men can have submissive voice. But we don't want to listen to this. Women have limited uh, physical strength. Men have great physical strength. This is biological. But can we change it? Now, I come to another point. Fragile. We say women are fragile. Not able to overcome challenges. Yes, fragility. Women are really, really fragile. They work only seven days a week. Five days in office, two days at home. Government of India gives you 16 to 18 gazetted holidays. Eid, Diwali, this Bandhan, 15th August, 2nd October and so many days. Women, do they get these holidays? They don't get these holidays. I've seen my mother, I've seen my wife, I've seen women getting up in the morning at 5 o'clock and getting everything ready till 8 o'clock and my men shouting at them, this is not ready, that is not ready. And we call them fragile. This is ready is called fragile and who is strong who doesn't get the person who doesn't get things in time that person starts shouting he is strong the person who speaks loudly is weak Gita says Bhagavad Gita says lekin jab Bhagavad Gita ye kisi aur chakkar mein bolti hai hum kalat kehte hai nahi nahi Men, men can be angry, you know. Women cannot be angry. Gussa aapko shubha nahi deta, bhi kyun nahi deta? Men are capable of achieving great endeavors. Can't women do? Indrani Nui has done so much. We can name her. Margaret Thatcher, the greatest uh, prime ministers of UK. UK is ruled by queens, you know. The queen is doing so well. Where is the problem? And men are strong. Women are fragile. These are inequalities with which we construct these genders in the society. We need to change it. You cannot be telling kids, of course, that women are fragile. Girls, you are fragile. You don't have to play with a bigger basketball. You have to go with a smaller basketball. You can have a volleyball and you can go out and practice some other game. Please, don't play cricket. The ball will hit you. The girls' cricket team in the school. People laugh. So girls will cricket play. Oh God bless you. Girls will play football. My friends were confused last year when I told the women World Cup is going on football. Is it women can World Cup? Hota hai? Ki, why, why? Women can't have a World Cup. This is a question for you all. Why we don't have women IPL, please? There's a hue and cry of uh, IPL going on. And there's a hue and cry of this uh, Vivo sponsoring this IPL. 440-odd crore rupees to be lost. Anguli is saying it every day because of IPL and all that. Why can't we have a women IPL? Give me the answer on the chat box, please. 
will it be less uh, competitive <laughs> uh, first of all sir i am not sure if there are that many uh, women cricket players to begin with to be forming so many teams um uh, also it's because you know whether they get any encouragement from their homes to actually pursue such careers you know That yes exactly so who who are, yes you are very right absolutely right society is not allowing them first point i don't agree that there are no there are less women uh, cricket players there are many women, women cricket players let me tell you there are more women cricket teams in the world than men cricket teams let me tell you this and they are doing very very well devendra dotin the captain of west indies cricket team is awesome australian cricket team is awesome last year indian cricket team women lost to australia in the world cup final nobody celebrated it what we said are final tak to ye mazak mein pahunch gayi kyunki final mein australians beat them bata diya women are of no use i asked them why australian girls cricket team beat indian girls cricket team men nahi aaye the harane unko when the same thing happened to india in 2003 the men's cricket team we were celebrated koi nahi yaar they played the whole world cup very well they won 10 matches they har bhi gaye to kya hua we are proud that we came second abhi we are not proud that women came second smriti mandhana and this uh, shefali verma and harman preet kaur wonderful names you know i can give you 40 names from india you can play women ipl people from the world but we don't want yes ma'am you are absolutely right but yes we can start with at least five teams in ipl women if not more if not 10 we had four we have 14 teams i guess in uh, you know of 10 teams in uh, ipl we can have 14 two three have been banned i really hope um, that happens chase se shuru kar sakte why not why not hockey league only one league i have seen the this one uh, kabaddi league is there and this one badminton league where everybody is equal they are playing so well this, this is good pv sindhu is there fine this is only one game i think where women are representing more than the boys air force girls are doing well where the girls are not there i want to ask you a question where the girls are not there today please give them opportunities they will shine they will shine this ipl is going to be an opportunity if this comes for women you see world will change world will definitely change the world will not change till we keep sitting in our homes and saying this is not possible nahi ho sakta but we need to change एक छोटी सी बात है एक एक करके चेंज होगा वन बाय वन द चेंज विल अकर एंड द डिफरेंस बिटवीन वन बाय वन इज ऑन वन एक का ही फर्क है एक एक में एक का ही फर्क है सिर्फ इफ वन पर्सन राइजेस एक आदमी खड़ा हो जाएगा एवरीथिंग विल चेंज दिस जेंडर ऑल दिस विल चेंज आई एम बी वेरी हैप्पी टू डू अ सेमिनार आफ्टर फाइव इयर्स वेयर मैन नीड टू बी टोल्ड भाई वट हैपन आफ्टर टू यू हैव गॉन डाउन कम अप we need to walk up we need to tell them but i don't know what to when will this happen somebody tells that this is a men's world who tells that this is a men's world who made this men have made it this is wrong women have made it because they have not taken the opportunities gender equality all of us know equal treatment of women and in laws and policies they are equally treated we need to take opportunities women need to take opportunities equal access to resources and services within families yes families need to understand that equal everything has to be equal children have to be treated equally boy and girl there is no difference everybody has to be treated equally and society at large will take care of itself gender equity fairness and justice in the distribution of benefits and responsibilities between men and women has to be there inequality is there there are imbalances in outcomes for girls and boys men and women there are there are definitely there are gender gaps gender discrimination is there in schools inequality is there in the school village community at large we have a boys captain who is celebrated we have a girls captain she said tell you make the uh, attendance that's all boys captain will address the school why the girls captain has to come and come forward and do the things the gender gap quantifiable signs of gender inequality in a society school or family we need this gender inequality to go how we need this gender inequality to go by training these children in a different way now 
doing away with pink and blue. Male, female have been born and masculine, feminine had been created, socialized, nurtured. Can you see the difference between nature and nurtured? Nature has made us men and women and we have nurtured them as masculine and feminine. And when we have nurtured them as masculine and feminine, we have given them powers. We have told men have all the powers and women, I'm sorry, you don't have all the powers. You have no, don't have strength. So you be submissive. You be at home. By, as I Shuman Khurana, in the beginning he said, Marti hai. Bhai, marne ki kya baat hai? Socialization and gender relations have to be very, very strong. Means a process by which boys and girls are trained to fit in what a given society values as being male or female. Our society, we, we, we very proudly we say our society, how we fit in, males fit in, how many females fit in. We have to be very careful about things. The relationship between men and women acquired through the process of socialization in terms of power sharing. The power sharing is not equal. Father and mother. What happens when the father comes back home? And what happens when mother comes back home? Mother reaches the kitchen ASAP as soon as possible. Gets back to the dining duties and everything else. Father has a very important duty. Can somebody tell me the duty of the father after coming back home? Home, please. Can somebody tell me the duty, what, most important duty of father when news, he comes back? Watching news. Real cool. I was about to come. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, remote. Television remote. Why? Television remote. Uthao or news, yeah, whatever. Views or whatever. Keep seeing it. And then discussing those news. No, what's up? That is it. And women, food. And believe. Food gets delayed by half an hour. Who's at fault? Madam. Because I, I told you before, till five o'clock, ma'am is also working, man, sir is also working in the office. But I told you, ma'am doesn't have a boss. Am I right or wrong? Tell me all of you. We all believe that women don't have bosses. Please, bosses Women are not given that much of work. The work we do. Women have to sit around and enjoy and chat and that's all. But is this so? And in the office, it's quite opposite. Everything is given to women. They do so much of work. But it is not recognized. Some fault of women also. They should come up and rise their, raise their voices also. Why? This is it. Make a timetable. Yeah, I'm not doing it. I can't make it. Order it. Of course, the ordering is order of the day today. The Swiggy and uh, what was the other one? Zomato, it's going on. But yes, we need to give equal status to women. And how we can do it? Teach the boys. Come, boy, go to the kitchen. Today, mom will not cook. Me and mom will have a game of uh, chess. You and your brother, you go to cook. Today, no cricket for you. No IPL for you. You cook. If boys are taught all this, boys are taught right in the beginning. The kitchen, the household work, they will understand. The world is changing. That's it. One of the days when you had a homemaker, because we all want wonderful facilities at home. We want money. We want everything. To have everything today for, to, defy, to satisfy our materialistic needs, we need more money. To need more money, both of us have to work. If both of us have to work in office, both of us have to work at home also. This this is the only problem. The day we understand this problem, we will be able to solve this problem. Everything will settle. Everything will settle. And we start teaching our boys all this. I was not taught kitchen work by my mother. Please. I remember my daddy used to shut me out of kitchen. Shoot me out of kitchen, in fact. Go, this is not his job. My father had business. Go to your dad. Help him in business. You can't come to kitchen. I didn't learn much. Same goes with the boys of my age and elder to me. They were not allowed in the kitchen. They were not told that this is an important job. But yes, your sons, your daughters, you can train them. You can train them well. You can teach your 10-year-old, 12-year-old, 40-year-old daughter to drive. Well, little girl, I'll teach you how to drive a scooty. Well, beta, you need the dough. 
Nata Guno. Learn all this, the kitchen duties. Because tomorrow, when you're going to get married, your wife is going to be tired and coming home. You need to cook better. You need to be a better cook. You want to be powerful? You are a man. You want to be powerful at home? You have to be a better cook. You have to be a better homekeeper than your wife. And see what happens. If this happens, what will happen? Your status will rise in the family and the women's status will go up in the family, in the society. And then we will talk about equality. Then we will talk about power sharing. Then we will talk about sensitized genders in the world. Till then, it is going to be trouble for us. Masculine and feminine. Aggressive and non-aggressive. Dependent and independent. Easily influenced, not easily influenced. Submissive, dominant, active, passive, home oriented, worldly. Wow, masculine, not worldly. Easily hurt emotionally, not easily hurt emotionally. Who says this? Both are equally hurt. Indecisive, decisive. Girls are more decisive. I can't take decisions. Boys can't take decisions. But the problem is, whatever decisions boys take, they are taken up. Boy has taken this decision. Boss has taken this decision. Father has taken this decision. This is good. Gentle, tough. Girls are also tough. Mentally tough. Sensitive to others' feelings. Less sensitive to others' feelings. Very desirous of security. Not very desirous of security. Men also need security. Cries a lot. Very cries. Because men are not taught to cry. Emotional, logical. Verbal, analytical. Kind, cruel. Tactful, blunt. Nurturing, not nurturing. We have to be very careful. Who is nurturing, who is not nurturing. Do we believe in these characteristics, feminine and masculine? Do we believe that these are the characteristics which have been created by us? Now, please tell me all of you on the chat. Do you believe that these are the characteristics which have been told, not told, not seen, which have been built up by us in the society? We can change it. Or can you tell me any one characteristic which, if interchanged, will affect boys more than girls? In fact, masculine more than feminine. You talk about any, any characteristic. If masculine are doing the opposite, it will be trouble for him. If masculine is indecisive. Oh my God, you can't take decisions. You're not a man. Be a man. I saw Amitabh Bachchan film, Bodhi Purani. Mard. There was a famous dialogue. Mard ko dard nahi hota. Or, what is this? What is this? Kindly tell me, all of you. Pain. Who has the pain? Has a man ever in, seen pain? And please, please reply this now. Uh, gentlemen, kindly reply this to this. Have you ever seen pain? Dekhi hai pain. If you really want to see pain, ask your mother the pain she find bore to bring you to the world. You will understand. You realize what pain is. We can bear pain. I'm telling you. Pick up a football. Fine. Shirt can tuck karo. I promise you. I promise you, you will have it. And see the mother, how she bears a baby for nine months. And then for the rest of the life, father says, he is my son. Why? He has my attributes. Is it ever possible? And we say, we are logical. They are emotional. So these attributes need to change. We need to change feminine and masculine if we need to change this world. And how can we change? If I change today, it won't matter. I'm not having much life left. More than half is gone. One third is gone. Or two, in fact, two third is gone. One third is left. That's biologically real. Biologically real, right? And if I teach it to my son, yes, that is important. Please teach the children all this. Okay, this is all not there. This is not possible. This is not real. 
labeling. We label things, you know, a form of violence. This labeling is form of violence. What is labeling? This is masculine, this is feminine. Can leave children scared for the rest of their lives, creates an image of being defective, and lead to self-low esteem. Low self-esteem. Now, we are giving low self-esteem to women, to feminine, when we are saying this. In this development and progress of students, students are not able to develop well if we are giving them low self-esteem by not giving them equal opportunities. Telling them, you are girls, you can't do this. So you go for the cleaning job, you go for the arts department, you go for painting. Boys, let's go for gardening. Boys will go for, uh, you can say, mountain climbing. I don't go far away, I, I myself have done this. There is a hill tracking, which is uh, 18 kilometers, very you know, tough. I myself told girls, but it's not possible to you. And a few girls came up, who says it's not possible for us? And they took the track. And the girls did actually well. They were not tired. They enjoyed more. And what happened? We started in the morning at 9.30 after breakfast. We came back by 6 o'clock. And the dining hall, we went to at 8 o'clock. What I saw, all 17 girls who went with me to tracking were there in the dining hall. And all 20 boys who went with me, only five turned up, rest were sleeping because they were tired. I changed. And I understood that girls are having more versatile, versatility. They are more agile than what boys are. Let's change. So let's change. Can you see the change coming up now? Can you change, see the change in the picture? So let's change this. <clears throat> let's give women the job, the opportunities. Let's help them. The world is changing. The world is changing. Can we adopt pink? Can two be given to them? Yes, we can do this. And don't judge. Watch what you say. Don't judge. If we start judging, that is where we create problems for us. Achievement expectations. Are boys and girls encouraged to take and achieve in all the subjects equally? Or the boys encouraged to take certain subjects and girls others? Girls should be taking biology. It's a norm. It's a norm in certain schools. Girls have to take biology. Boys have to take maths. Because if boys don't take maths, they will not be engineers. What will boys do? FMC is good for girls, right? And uh, ND is good for boys. Now, what are the expectations for girls and boys for, to continue their schooling? What are the expectations for the role and jobs afterwards? Same things, you know. Jobs also. Girls kill it, these are the jobs. Boys kill it, these are the jobs. We have already made the difference. Then why are we dealing with all these things? We cannot do this. Give girls all the opportunities. Give them, you can do everything. Learning environment. In the classrooms, how are girls and boys depicted in posters and images? See, this is most important. We have to change this. Advertisements. This has to change. This social justice has to come. We cannot be behaving in, in such a disastrous way. <clears throat> Posters, I don't want to speak all this. I hope you all understand. This imagery should change. Balance in the number of pictures of boys and girls in posters and decorations. There should be a balance. There should be a balance. Powder ki ad me girls and boys to remind boys to see powder. Achha. Do you know what the fair and lovely name has changed? What is the name, new name? What is the new name for fair and lovely, please, anybody? This is a question for you, you have to answer. New name for fair and lovely. Fair and, fair and handsome. Uh, no, sir. There's another name. I think they have taken out fair from it. Yes, they have taken out fair from it. So what is the new name? This is glow and lovely. The name is glow and lovely. Fair is gone. It is glow and lovely now. Exactly. Fine. Now, can we have a man you know, doing this ad? Glow and lovely. The glowing smile. We all know skin doesn't change. This melanin and all that medical people are right sitting in front of me. How can skin color change? No way. 
mind. So we need to balance everything. School facilities have to change. What are the girls and the what are boys doing in the schoolyard? Yes, that needs to change. When I see the girls swings different, boys swings different in troubles. We need to be having the same sort of things. Gym. This side only for boys. This side only for girls. Chote chote but it could be the same. Timing can be different. There are reasons for that. Then, this is it. Football only for boys or football only for girls. Or football all for all. It should be same for all. Because when I was young, I used to study in a school in Mary's Convent School, Kasoli. Uh, we used to have a basketball match, inter-house basketball match. I still remember. Team of five. Three boys, two girls. It was a fantastic match. Fine. And we struggled to get into it. And there was no problems. We played whole life. We played like that. There was no disparity. Till 10th standard, boys, girls sat together. But then we went to a world and we saw a different world. Girls were different. Boys were different. But we need to change it. We have to make them sit together in the class. Give similar duties for males and females. Cleaning, moving, furniture, everything. Encourage both males and females to be class leaders. Perhaps one for each sex. One male, one female. Boys, girls. And girls will mind boys and boys will mind girls and vice versa. Address and call girls and boys equally. Ensure equal opportunities to go to talk board during the lesson. Yes, equal opportunities. Girls should be given more opportunities. Do not segregate boys and girls in the classroom. They have to make them sit together. Make mixed group for group activities and games. Make special efforts to direct questions at girls and other shy children. Boys are also shy. Boys are more shy. Maybe I am teaching English so I can say this. When I used to teach science, yes, the participation was there. Plan and conduct activities that give opportunity to all the children accepting one another as equals. Yes, everybody should be considered equal. Now I'll give you a video, a new video, a wonderful video. Listen to what this girl is saying. This lady is saying. This is a wonderful, wonderful uh, video. Let's see this. I was appointed six months ago. And the more I've spoken about feminism, the more I have realized that fighting for women's rights has too often become synonymous with man-hating. If there is one thing I know for certain, it is that this has to stop. For the record, Feminism, by definition, is the belief that men and women should have equal rights and opportunities. It is the theory of the political, economic, and social equality of the sexes. I started questioning gender-based assumptions a long time ago. When I was eight, I was confused at being called bossy because I wanted to direct the plays that we would put on for our parents. But the boys were not. When at 14, I started to be sexualized by certain elements of the media. When at 15, my girlfriends started dropping out of their beloved sports teams because they didn't want to appear muscly. When at 18, my male friends were unable to express their feelings. I decided that I was a feminist, and this seemed uncomplicated to me. But my recent research has shown me that feminism has become an unpopular word. 
women are choosing not to identify as feminist. Apparently, I am among the ranks of women whose expressions are seen as too strong, too aggressive, isolating, and anti-men, unattractive even. Why has the word become such an uncomfortable one? I am from Britain, and I think it is right that I am paid the same as my male counterparts. I think it is right that I should be able to make decisions about my own body. I think it is right that women be involved on my behalf in the policies and the decisions that will affect my life. I think it is right that socially I am afforded the same respect as men. But sadly, I can say that there is no one country in the world where all women can expect to receive these rights. No country in the world can yet say that they have achieved gender equality. Thank you very, very much. I hope this wonderful speech helped. Any queries now? Any questions, please? Yes, the onus is on you now. Sir, may I ask a question? Ma'am, please. <laughs> yes. Uh, so uh, this is a little, probably a little beyond what we are discussing at the moment, but. Uh, when you were talking about, you know, uh, talking to children and sensitizing them about masculinity and feminine qualities, um, yeah. I was wondering that, you know, there are there are so many children who also struggle with what uh, kind of gender identity they want to take up. That's a whole different topic, I know. But in yeah. a situation like that, as a person who's dealt with such things, what would your advice be to parents when they have to, uh, you know, nurture these kind of uh, changes or these kind of uh, thoughts that their children have. So do you encourage them to uh, let them choose, you know, independently and, you know, choose uh, things that they like? Or uh, should it just be a role reversal where, you know, no, you can also do this or you can also do this? How would you advise parents on that? I'll advise it this way that uh, think the age, first of all. And what kind of uh, things their children want. Independently, of course. Yes, independently. Till it is not going too wrong. I understood your question. See, if we allow the independence, it will be good. But yes, along with guidance. A guidance is required. A little guidance, being a parent, being a teacher, is always there. A little guidance can be given and independence should be given. One thing I want to tell you, if the children are not let independent in today's era, it is going to be a big trouble because boys and girls will do whatever they want to do. If they will not do it right in front of us, they will do it at the back. I believe if they do it right in front of us, it's better than they do it at the back with our guidance. I think that will help. Thank you, sir. I hope I'm clear about it. That's my perspective. Yes, anybody else, please? Yes, please, all of you. Questions from all the participants, please go ahead and ask. Yeah. <laughs> I'll ask you a question. Uh, maybe I have to don't worry about that. Twice a year, we have these nine days dedicated to goddesses. You know, Navratri, we call it. Right. Can you name nine goddesses? Without looking at. Oh, no. It's <laughs> very isn't it? Yes. There lies the crux. How much we devote our, uh, you can say, our lives to women. Right. How much are we indebted to women? Right. That is it. 
Right. Fine. So this is it. So, uh, so then you ask. Sorry. There is sorry, a question: sorry. gender equality in women yes. empowerment. Is there a difference? Yes. Women empowerment. Yes. Women empowerment is totally different. We have to empower our women, but if we cannot give them equality, we cannot empower. Fine. Understand the concept. We need to equally treat them at home first of all. Give them that confidence. I'll ask you a quick question. Who is happy? There is a word called tranquility. Mm. The tranquility means peacefulness. Who is peace at peace? Who is happy? The answer is in women. One who is satisfied. Have you ever seen a woman sad for a longer duration of time? No. Women are always happier because they are satisfied. Because with satisfaction comes happiness. Because they get satisfied very soon, they have been taught right from the beginning to be satisfied. They have been taught that yes, men will have superpower, men will have everything, you will not have everything, and you have to be settling, you have to be understanding, and you have to be sacrificing. Hence, they get satisfied very soon, and hence they are very. So you have to raise this level of being satisfied and get empowered yourself also. Don't take anything wrong in a wrong way or a right way. The women need to and the men need to help them. If we are giving them equality, if they have given them their due, what will happen? They will be empowered. Then as I told you, in the parliament, we do not have to give them 33% voting, 33% seats. And believe me, this happens. Are these women cannot get these parliament seats. Because they are getting reservation. If reservation is not they will not be there. Yes, they are not supposed to be given that much of power. Comes a Prime Minister who has made the Defence Minister. The Defence Minister of Women. And there are so many clauses against them. They are not doing a good job. Why? Why? They are not doing a fantastic job. And believe me, our, our Finance Minister will not land up in jail. I promise you this. Like the other finance minister is put our country. I'm getting angry with this, you know. He's our put our country at stake. Our finance minister was in jail. It's an embarrassment. But when women is there, we say, yeah, what she can do? Why? Why? She cannot do. She has done a wonderful job. The HRD minister did a fantastic job. So we need to empower the women, give them equality, and only then the society will Please ask questions and don't mind my anger. Ah, any questions, please? But look, uh, I tell it in the class if you don't ask questions, that means nothing is understood. Worthless. Same here. Uh, please, all of you ask questions. Sir, may I ask another one? Uh, I just wanted yeah, your comments on. So, that I had this conversation uh, with a couple of my male friends. So, they uh, they use casual sexism during their talks with each other, yeah. uh, where yeah. they use a lot of abusive language against women. They don't mean to hurt each yeah. other's feelings, but they use it like very commonly, and uh, it upsets me. And I do tell mm. them not to be that way. But then I don't know how to, you know, uh, sensitize them towards it. Uh, what do you think I should do with that? Talk straight. <laughs> this is a hitch. We cannot do this. I, I agree. I agree. agree. It's difficult. But you have to. Or two, three of you can get together and tell why this is not done. We have to maintain some sort of decorum. Or you can say it in a different way. We need to maintain some sort of a decorum. A professional decorum, only then it was going to be good. Or you should have tell them that uh, let's have a seminar, let's attend the seminar. I am happy to do the seminar once again. <laughs> Please tell them diplomatically because this is not done. Yeah, I know we all face this problem. Every day we face this problem because men are men. That's said, but this should not be said. I'm sorry, this should not be said. The world has changed. 2020 is very very different. I have kids who are my teach. I'm teaching in 12th standard, 11th standard, senior girls. They come up. Sir, see, there is a difference. Ashna ma'am will be knowing it. She started in the same school. That there is a house 
where only girls live girls are not allowed to go out boys are allowed to go everywhere i don't have answer till date for this till this date 4th of july when america is celebrating its independence day i don't have a time in 2020 i don't have a particular good reply to these girls okay, why are you no you not allowed to go because i can't fight the system yes i am with them i am telling the system but yes the system is slowly and steadily doing it now slowly and steadily we are doing it maybe in the coming years we'll be allowing them to go to the market alone because of course we are not the parents we have to be tracking their uh, you can say security also so you know those many things wonderful question ma'am uh, anybody else please more questions and if you feel shy still to ask a question you can ask me questions you can mail me questions i'll be more than happy to reply i'm putting my email id in the chat box you can mail me uh, sir i just wanted to tell you that this was a wonderful webinar it it really felt nice listening to these kind of opinions and things from men especially because women already feel this inequality Absolutely. and things you know going around but i really wanted to tell that it was a wonderful webinar thank you so much thank you so much ma'am thank you so much ma so i think if uh, that's all so we can call it a day yes if there are no further questions uh, i would like to present sir with a token of appreciation uh, thank you so much ma'am sachin is going to share with us in a minute thank you so oh. much for the thank wonderful you so much. information that you gave us and also for uh, making us understand uh, the difference between gender and sex um, and making us understand that there is so much out there that you know uh, that needs to change and how we can bring these changes at home uh, thank you so much for making us uh, you know empowered in a way i speak for all the women here <laughs> so thank you so much for being a part of our webinar uh, and from team pro we have uh, i thank all the participants for patiently waiting and for being so interactive and uh, we look forward to more of your participation in our forthcoming webinars and uh, i would like to conclude with that thank you so much thank you so much thank you so much for everybody and remember together we can make a difference in tomato together we will make a difference and remember one quote that if you want to change anything you want to lead you have to be the you know uh, change leader and leader of the orchestra has to be having his back to the crowd thank you so much have a good day all of you thank you thank you sir thank you thank you sir thank you thank you sir thank you ji